Hey everyone, we're going to solve the equation on the interval 0 to 2 pi cosine of 4 theta minus cosine of 6 theta equals 0. So the first thing we're going to do is simplify our expression. Uh, it's in a sum format and we're going to make it a product. So it has this form here. And let's just rewrite this. So this would be negative 2 um, sine, and then we're going to have, um, let's see, 4 theta plus 6 theta divided by 2 times sine of 4 theta minus 6 theta divided by 2. All right, so this is 10 theta to negative 2 sine and 10 theta divided by 2 is 5 theta and this is going to be negative 2 theta which gives me sine of when you cancel out the 2's of negative theta. Alright, now sine is an odd function so I can um, move this uh, out, put the negative in front and do that. So basically I have positive 2 sine of 5 theta times sine of uh, theta equals zero. So this should all equal zero here. All right. Now, all we have to do at this point is split it up. So we're going to set each of these to equal zero. For this one, we have sine of theta equals zero. And um, our y is zero at zero and pi. That's it. So we just have theta equals zero and theta equals pi. We can't use two pi. So we already have two solutions. Now for this one we're going to have to uh, set it up as such. So let's do this one. We have um, sine. Well we actually have two sine of 5 theta equals 0. If you divide both sides by 2, this gives you sine of 5 theta equals 0. So what we're going to do is let this part be alpha. So for sine of alpha equals 0, we still get our 0 and pi. So we have, uh, set, we want to set this 5 theta to our alpha. So we have 5 theta equals 0 plus 2k pi because we got to, we have to get all the solutions and we have 5 theta equals uh, pi plus 2k pi. Now if you divide everything by 5 or let's just multiply everything through by 1 fifth, we're going to get theta for this one, the zeros just goes away, so we get 2k pi divided by 5. And for this one, we're going to get pi divided by 5 plus 2k pi. All right, from here, um, if we have k is 0, we'll, for this one, we'll just get theta equals 0. We already have that solution. Remember, we already have two solutions as 0 and pi from uh, the first one we did. Now this one, if k is 0, we get theta equals pi divided by 5. All right. <coughs> now if we let k equal 1, we're still going to get um, pi divided by 5. So basically, let's just start here. And what we're doing, oh, this should be over 5. So what we're going to do is do uh, pi divided by 5 plus, and every time what we're doing is you put um, a 1 in here, you're going to get uh, plus 2 pi divided by 5. So this is going to be pi divided by 5, 2 pi divided by 5, and add another one, you're going to get um, 2 plus 2 is 4 pi divided by 5, add another one, 
This is 6 pi divided by 5. You can go all the way up to, but not including, 10 pi divided by 5. And then add another 2 pi. You just keep adding the 2 pi, 8 pi divided by 5. Now for this one, if you just put in 0, we get 0. If you plug in 1, you get pi over 5. And now we're going to keep adding 2, 2 pi divided by 5 to uh, that, and you're going to get 0 pi. Um, for this one, you keep adding, you're going to get 3 pi divided by 5, and we're doing this one. Then we'll get 5 pi divided by 5, which just equals pi, so we can skip that. Then we're going to get 5 pi divided by um, 5, that's the pi. Then add 2 to that, and you get 7 pi divided by uh, 5, and 9 pi divided by 5. So basically what you're doing for these two is you just keep adding... Uh, 2 pi divided by 5 to the next one. And that's a lot easier to do, and you get all your solutions here. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.